Maybe that's what that off. The frost valve for your heater is underneath the seat and the rear seat on the left hand side. What will happen that we blue knob on the top of it, it'll turn and it'll face front to back in the van and the little blue button we can see at the bottom there will just push out. To reset it, just turn the turn the wheel knob at the top of it across that sideways facing side to side in the in the van and push in the little blue button down on the side of it. Uh, if it's too cold, that'll happen automatically about four degrees roughly. If it's too cold the button will not stay in. All you can do there is just turn on your heating and run the heating for maybe five, ten minutes roughly till it warms up. It'll stay in then you can get the water back up through the system. So that's all your heater. Um, you have two extra seats in the van in the they're in the boot. You can see there where they go while if the cushions out, they slot into those holes there and the we threaded hole in the middle and um, with a big screw will just clamp them down into place. Your seat belt and all there. Now your fridge. Your fridge here we've a main on off switch on the left hand side. Just push that for a couple of seconds, powers on the fridge. Um, this grey button, if we just push this grey button, hold it in for a couple of seconds. We can see these start flashing here. And we can use these arrows to select across. You can see here now we're on uh, mains power, 230 two volt power. We have a 12 volt and we have a gas setting. We we'll push it again, we have the A. So that will automatically select whatever's most suitable at the time. Push this little square button again. These are flashing here now, so we can turn up and down the temperature control and just push the wee button again. And that's your your fridge set there in automatic. Um, kind of the four out of five setting. And do we handle here someplace? Sure. Your, your fridge. To turn it off, just push this button, hold it in for a couple of seconds, and that's it off. Now, oven over that. Um, standard kind of gas, gas oven. We'll turn on the turn on the dial here. Hold in the dial to start it, and on the left hand side here, we have a sparker button, and we have a, a wee light inside it if you want it lit up. So to light it, you'd hold in this gas valve and hold in the sparker button at the same time till it lights, till you see it lighting. Once it's lit, keep this held in for a couple of seconds. Um, release it, it'll stay lit, you can set your temperature. Just turn it right to the up position for off. Shower in here, don't think there's much I need to show you there. Um, just a bed area. The only thing we have down here, just underneath the floor here, at the base of the bed, are your your mains trip switches are underneath the floor there, just at the bottom of the bed. Now, inside here we have our toilet, standard enough. And um, you have a swivel, swivel seat on the toilet. And just lift up the seat. We've the wee blue button underneath the window for your flush. And we've a wee lever just in the front of it here to open and close the open and close the cassette door. That's all that's in there. Now your kitchen area. Sink cooker standard gas cooker again if we turn on the valve we have a wee igniter switch here so we hold down the gas valve and just push the lighter button so it's less hold the button for a couple of seconds release the button that's your cooker running away we can get down to a low setting up to full and around clockwise for off Now here, microwave we just left in the box there at the table. 
Um, your TV, your aerial is built in over the fridge. The remote control is just underneath the TV. This top right hand button will power on the TV. When you go around place, you probably have to retune it. Let me show you how to do that now. To reach in it on the change station. To reach to tune your TV, this menu button on the left hand side, we push that, it brings up this screen here, and we just push the down button here, brings up auto tuning. Select auto tuning. Just menu button auto tuning first thing I do I change that to DTV only using the right arrow come down we'll select Ireland okay and we'll just let that tune in a minute Anytime. now there's your TV tuned in so I'll just turn that off the Top button on the right hand side, we can go outside now, round outside here. Now, the only thing we have here is fridge vents. And we come back to the garage just inside the door. There, your jack and wheel brace are in that box, the wheel blow up kit. There's the extra seats for the back of it. These two go into the holes that screws down the center, center hole to hold it in place. Set of leveling blocks there. Your water tank, fresh water tank, is in the middle of the boot here. You can see that little black steering wheel um, over on the left hand side of us, passenger side. You can see here, if we loosen that steering wheel, roughly three quarters of a turn, it drains all the water apart from 20 litres. So if you wanted to lighten for travel or anything, um, just turn it three quarters of a turn. When the water stops coming out underneath it, there's 20 litres left in it. If you want to drain it totally, just open it two turns and it'll drain totally. And just nip it up then. It doesn't need a big tightening, just um, nip it up to, to close it. Um, as we handle here for raising your bed, that we handle there, goes goes onto this here and you can raise and lower your, your bed in the boot. Bike rack, you just grab this bar here, give that a pull down, sits down there. Um, we straps here for your wheels, just work like we ratchets and two top straps for the crossbars. Pull it up, just push it up, and give it a push into place. Around this side, that's just in the other side of the boot there. We have our gas locker here behind the back wheel on the left hand side. Um, to turn on and off your gas, you just this valve in the top of your bottle, probably similar to what you had in your last van. You just screw that down clockwise to turn off the gas. And there's a wee spanner someplace. You throw a wee spanner in there for you for the for changing the bottle. If I close this now, your your water filler is here just over the gas locker door um, just for filling your water tank your mains plug is next up your mains power point next we have your toilet cassette to take it out if we lift up this orange lever that'll slide out just so you can pull the whole lot right out to empty it um, just turn out similar to what you had before turn out that orange neck you can screw off that wee lid as we measure and cut for your chemical and pour it down a suitable waste point. You have a little orange button in the back here. If we push that in, it's an air vent for when you're emptying it. It just makes things come out a bit easier. Now just in front of that, before I put it in, is your outside shower point. Now I left a shower hose just inside the left-hand side of that toilet cassette door. This end here, 
will just go in here and you can turn it you can see yourself when you put it in it's off if you turn it anti-clockwise you've cold mixing into hot now the only thing you'll have to watch there's a little switch just inside the door there pump switch um, you'll have to switch on your water pump whenever you're using that so just switch on that little switch when you're using the outside shower and just ensure to turn it off when it's not being used or your pump will be running all the time that's your outside shower tidy cassette just lifts back in push it back into place and close in that wee lid that's the exhaust for your heater just underneath that window is why there's the switch on it now just inside the front door here you've add blue and this as well so that's your add blue filling point and your diesel is just behind that now underneath the passenger seat is your EBL box, your control box, charger and we can see there's a wee row of fuses across it, they'd be all your 12 volt fuses for everything in the back of the van lights, heater, uh, TV, all that kind of stuff Now your bonus pull is here, and just pull that to open the bonus And your bonnet just pulls pulls down. It's tight in here. All we have here is your, your screen wash. Just that blue lid on the left hand side. And just in behind here we'll see our little red dipstick. Let's see if we can get that up for you. Your dipstick just in in there. Rest of stuff we can see the coolant and power steering fluid on the left hand side of it and the brake fluid on the right hand side. If ever you have to jump start the van, just on the right hand side here. Um, if we lift up this little cover here, your positive jump lead will go onto that we steel piece under that cover, and your air generally should go on up, up um, onto this bar here, onto that nut or that bar there for your air point. So that's all underneath there. I think that's it. Um, thank you.